All right. Uh, well, David, thank you very much for inviting me today. Um, always a pleasure to uh, join the group you put together. And of course, I know a lot of these people from my own summit. So uh, a lot of the names are quite familiar. Uh, today, uh, hey, can you send David uh, the link to the sales page? Yeah. Okay, should be on the way. And uh, I'm getting some background noise, David. Can you hear me all right? Uh, yeah, I can hear you now. I'm not sure where that came from. Yeah. Everything else was muted. Uh, yeah, so today we're gonna talk about probing for a bottom, bottom in the market that is. And then after that, it's Dow 240,000, here we come. I know that it sounds uh, amazing that you often have spectacular forecasts thrown at you, but I'm gonna tell you how this is actually going to come about over the next 10 years, and then you can retire early like I did. So let's get on with the show. Uh, take out your pen and paper to take notes or start typing into your smartphone. What I'm about to tell you will blow you away and change your life for I am in the early retirement business uh, your early retirement. And uh, let's go flying for a minute. Uh, I have, why listen to John Thomas? Well, I have 53 years of experience in the global financial markets. And let me turn this down a second. Uh, 10 years running, uh, 10 years as the economist correspondent in Tokyo, Japan, and later the White House. 10 years running the International Equity Division at Morgan Stanley. Uh, uh, um, time out as a Marine Corps combat pilot in Desert Storm, 10 years running the first international dedicated hedge fund, five years fracking for natural gas in Texas, and now 14 years publishing the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader. I am one of a handful of founders of the modern hedge fund industry who is still uh, living, breathing, and working. Take my half century of trading experience and add it to your own. Learn from my trading mistakes. You don't have to repeat them. And believe me, there have been plenty. Oh, and if you ever need a ride in a hundred year old biplane, I'm your man. So uh, let's cover the most important points first and then we'll get into the nitty gritty. The correction that we're all experiencing right now is 90% over on a price basis, but only 50% done on a time basis. And Assuming the correction started at the beginning of the year in January, uh, that means we have our four to five months into this and have four to five months to go before we launch into a brand new bull market, which should extend for several years. Uh, my worst case scenario for the market is a S&P 500 of 3,500. That's where you get a price earning multiple of 14 times. That's approaching a decade low. While prices are falling, earnings are actually rising at a 10% annual rate, making the best stocks very cheap, very fast. It's probably the fastest stocks have ever gotten cheap in stock market history. New bull market should begin sometime this summer, go to new highs, uh, get on the train before it leaves the station. 2022 is looking even better. The U.S. economy will be 10% larger in a year. U.S. company sales will be 20% higher. Remember all that inflation you're hearing about kicks in in higher sales uh, and higher economic growth too. Profits will explode by 10% or more. Operating leverage of U.S. firms is the highest in history. COVID is almost done. Yeah, I was the last guy to get it. Uh, this is my first COVID-free webinar in a month. And by the way, it didn't kill me, but I have to tell you on the first day, I felt like I got railroaded by a truck. Uh, time to load the boat with stocks is coming and maybe only months away. So what happens when Goldilocks moves in? Well, you get a performance that's kind of like this. Uh, this is the last 12 months of our own trading performance. And we basically have gone straight up. We're at new all-time highs now. We're up 62.99% on a trailing one-year basis minus uh, versus closer to minus 17% this morning. 
Uh, and uh, we are up 39% since January 1st. We basically have been going pedal to the metal on shorts in technology stocks and shorts in the bond market. It's been about half and half. And that's why we've been up almost every day this year. Uh, so if you're going to spend time with me, uh, who is John Thomas? Uh, oops, let's go back there. Uh, my family origins are very humble. Growing up as the oldest of seven children on a remote farm in Southern California. I lived the all-American childhood playing Little League baseball and becoming an Eagle Scout. There wasn't much to do in the old days in California but hunting. So I picked up a job as a paper boy for the Los Angeles Herald Examiner. I found the stock pages, bought IBM at $20, sold it at 30, suddenly had a found a far better way to make money than delivering newspapers on the back of a bicycle. By the time I was 16, I earned enough money to fly to Europe. That's back when it cost a fortune. By the age of 17, I had visited more than 50 countries and spoke four languages. And this is one of the first newspapers I delivered covering the Kennedy assassination in 1963. At UCLA, I majored in math and DNA research, which landed me a job at the nuclear test site in Nevada. Their yield didn't mean interest paid, but millions of Russians killed. I didn't see much of a future in that, so the government sent me to Southeast Asia for a few years of research, where I learned how to fly and jump out of perfectly good airplanes. There he advised the militaries of America's Asian allies. As the war wound down, I became a foreign correspondent for The Economist magazine in London. When they learned I had a math degree, they switched me over to covering the Asian economy and the stock market, ta-da, stock market. And after a decade of government service, all I ended up with is this box of metals, which I will be trotting out uh, next Monday on Memorial Day. As a foreign correspondent, I covered China during the Cultural Revolution, was the first American reporter to visit North Korea since the Korean War, and covered the rest of the continent all the way to Asia. I figured out very quickly you didn't have to be that smart to make money in the stock market, so I got into the industry, joining Morgan Stanley. After 10 years there, I started my own hedge fund, and this is me losing the All Japan National Karate Championships uh, warning, never enter a karate final with a broken wrist, which I did. Ouch. I rapidly became the top performing hedge fund of the 1990s, eventually bringing in a 1,000% return in a decade. Then the money really started to pour in. It's an understatement to say that when your income goes from the thousands to the tens of millions, it really has a big impact on your lifestyle. I sold my hedge fund in 2000 and retired to go into the oil and gas industry. After making a killing there, I missed the stock market and started the diary of a mad hedge fund trader in 2008. I now spend my days pursuing my first love, finding winning trade alerts. But now I do it from my three mansions in San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, and Zermatt, Switzerland. And I've quit turning millionaires into billionaires. There's far more satisfaction leveling the playing field for the average guy and teaching him how to trade. And that includes you. I can take a $50,000 account and turn it into $500,000. That is more job satisfaction than I could ever get anywhere else. However, every silver lining has a cloud. This is my 2020 tax return showing 20.6 million in trading income uh, and owing 8.2 million in taxes, ouch. I uh, just thank goodness that I can pay that without it making a dent in my lifestyle. In the little free time I have left, I pursue my other love, fly flying vintage aircraft on weekends. If you see an old plane flying loops over San Francisco or London these days, it's probably me. As a Marine Corps veteran, I volunteer for grief counseling for widows and orphans, and I'm a major donor to wounded warriors. When wildfires hit California, I visited the main evacuation center and handed out $10,000 worth of Target gift cards. So there is a method to my madness. The roaring 20s are here. Bond prices have peaked and interest rates bottomed. We are now in a multi-year bear market in bonds and the greatest short selling opportunity of the decade. A major stock market correction is underway, but it will be short-lived 
and most of the damage has already been done. Keep your best tech stocks as out of your earnings are being wildly underestimated. Tech always comes back. Ukraine war put a major dent in the global economy, raising inflation in energy and food, but that won't last forever. In fact, it probably will be largely gone by the end of this year. U.S. dollar is at a 20-year high and will keep rising as long as the Fed is tightening. Commodity super cycle has only just begun and will continue for a decade. Uh, Bitcoin will remain dead as long as global liquidity is shrinking. That happens for the foreseeable future. Now, if you're wondering why I'm in such a good mood in this picture, it's because I'm flying a P-51 Mustang, uh, a World War II fighter. And if you don't know what a Mustang is, that's my friend Geraldine, who usually fly about once a year. So the global economy certainly taking a Ukraine hit. J. Powell warns of more 50 basis point rate hikes. We'll probably get three um, if the economic conditions justify it, which with an 8.3% inflation rate, they do. Core inflation is down slightly. The bull market will begin when you get a sudden out of the blue drop in inflation uh, from the current 8.3 down to maybe six or even five. That'll probably happen sometime this summer when the year-on-year -year comparisons for prices suddenly turn very favorable. Joel's hits a record high with uh, 11.55 million job openings. There are now 6 million more jobs than there are workers in the United States. You don't get a stronger economy than that. China's industrial production has collapsed down by 2.9% and retail sales there are down 11.1%. Producer prices in the US soaring at 11% year on year and a half percent in April alone. Air ticket prices have gone through the roof uh, and we're the biggest single factor keeping uh, the inflation rate high. Uh, hint, hint, you don't have recessions when ticket prices are rising 25% and all the airplanes are full and you can't get a seat. And when you get bumped, it takes you three days to get on another plane. Cyclonized global recovery will resume in the second half of 2022 and has at least another two years of bull market after that to go. Stocks, we have been shooting generals lately, not Russian generals, but American ones. <laughs> shooting the lead tech stocks usually means a market bottom as cl is close. When you saw Apple draw from, drop from 150 to 133 in a heartbeat, that is a hint that the end is near. Warren Buffett is buying stocks, some 51 billion worth in Q1, moving big into oil stocks like Chevron and Occidental Petroleum. Elon Musk, in the meantime, has crashed his own stock, uh, selling 8.4 billion worth of Tesla to buy Twitter. Uh, that has dropped his share price by nearly half, from 1,200 down to just above 600. And actually, while I'm, I'm thinking about this, I think I'll check the price of Tesla and see if it's time to buy it. And the answer is yesterday was the time to buy because we're up uh, $39 right now. Uh, Elon, Elon Musk is cooling on Twitter, causing the stock to dive 20%. Turns out once you got a look at the actual books, wasn't such an interesting company after all. Yeah, with five to 10% of your customers fake, or bots, you can understand why he might feel that. SoftBank suffered a $20 billion, $27 billion loss in 2021, probably lose a lot more uh, with their vision fund. McDonald's selling their Russian operations, uh, laying off 80,000 people there. Look for a terrible first half and a strong second half of the year for stocks. So uh, this is our market timing index and the various forecasts it makes. Uh, and for the time being, we're going to be trapped in a range. Now, if we're 90 percent uh, on the way to the bottom, but only 50 percent <clears throat> on the basis of time, that means we chop around a lot here for the next several months until eventually we break out to the upside, maybe in the summer or fall. So great trading opportunity. Buy the dip, sell the rally. It's my new trading strategy. I'm thinking of patenting it. Or taking out a copyright, but you can make money hand over fist in this kind of market because whenever we charge down to these new lows, 
the volatility index suddenly uh, goes over 30 and making money in the options market is like falling off a log. Uh, similarly, you can <clears throat> uh, load the boat on very deep in the money call spreads here, take profits here, back and forth, back and forth. It's like having a uh, printer that prints $100 bills. My worst case scenario, down 3,500 3, in the S&P 500, that's down 27 from the low. More likely is that we uh, either already have hit bottom or it's very close to here. That would be a down 20%. And of course, um, the new all-time high would be 4,800 up here, which we probably will hit by the end of this year. So must own tech sectors for the long haul, artificial intelligence, cloud-based applications, cybersecurity, autonomous driving, digital commerce, digital infrastructure, big data, 5G infrastructure, microprocessors and GPUs, semiconductor manufacturing equipment, which is now incredibly cheap, FinTech, smartphones, blockchain, and quantum computers. Uh, so we approach these, this kind of market with a barbell portfolio. We put half our money in big tech, big tech and half in domestic recovery stocks, including railroads, airlines, cruise lines, couriers, steel companies, banks, construction, credit card companies, hotels, casinos, and online ticket sales. Why so much in big tech? Because you have 2% of the U.S. workforce accounting for 27% of market cap and 38% of US earnings. It's an incredibly disproportionate share of US profits are coming out of technology. That's why you have been long up the wazoo for the last 12 years. Uh, NASDAQ, <coughs> we look for it to bottom. Uh, not far from here, the 200 day moving average might uh, uh, support, supply some su serious support at 10,700. After that, we're looking for a 40% gain uh, back up to 14,000. Uh, Microsoft, another uh, high quality tech company, one of the safest companies around uh, with exploding uh, PC sales, uh, record earnings and a massive move into the cloud. Uh, they're another long-term hold. Uh, you know, We got buy signals from our algorithm here, here, a sell here. We actually went short Microsoft in January. Now it's time to start loading a boat again down here, uh, looking for 320 by the end of the year. Uh, Apple, uh, another big winner. 5G fever is here. One billion phones need to be bought in order to get 5G. Uh, and they have $250 billion worth of cash. So they're the largest buyer of their own stock. If you're buying Apple, you're probably buying it right along with the company itself. Of course, we've been long Apple forever. My personal account has an average cost of 25 cents. Uh, that was right around when the company almost went bankrupt in the late 80s and Steve Jobs came in to save the company. Our latest buys were down here at 50, uh, again at 110. And we went short Apple in January along with the rest of big tech. And we uh, currently have a short, which we just put on in the latest $10 rally. Uh, we expect uh, to get lower lows in Apple, turn around in the summer, and then new all-time highs, $200 by the end of the year. Uh, Amazon would be the first $3 trillion company, global online sales presidents, Amazon Web Services taking over the cloud. And oh, if you wanna break up the company, you get twice as much money for it because uh, the company broken up into parts is worth far more than keeping it whole. Uh, we have a buy here. We had a sell back in January uh, and we look for uh, Amazon to bottom right below 2000. After that, it's a buy. And then we're targeting 3000 by the end of the year. 50% gain on the table. Don't let it get away. Uh, Alphabet uh, getting crushed right now because of a retreat from the online advertising industry. Uh, you may notice the same uh, advertisements are getting repeated over and over again by a small group of companies. Uh, that's because everybody else canceled their budget for the year. Nobody wants to advertise ahead of a 
recession and um, uh, uh, it's the e advertising is the easiest and quickest expense you can cut to offset falling sales. So uh, Alphabet's getting slammed now. If the recession doesn't show up, you can expect the advertising to come rocketing back and Alphabet stock to do so as well. So there's another 50% gain setting up here by the end of 2022. Salesforce, another big cloud player, cloud customer relationship management. Uh, the business is growing exponentially. The stock has been falling exponentially. Uh, we're now down 50% from the recent highs. Uh, we expect a turnaround close to here and a target of 400 by the end of 2022, uh, that should read. And let me, let me start my list of corrections uh, right here. Uh, Tesla, uh, of course, everyone knows about Tesla, 12-year head start in global EVs, uh, building a global utility business, a global solar business, uh, and our long-term target, our 10-year target is $10,000 a share, up from the 1,200 high that we saw in January. Uh, car production likely to go from a million units to uh, one and a half million units this year and 25 million units a year uh, by the 2030. So uh, my average annualized cost on solar is um, three dollars, on Tesla is $3 a share. We wrote it up to 1200. Uh, you know, our latest buys were down here uh, in the seventies. We bought it again down here uh, in the five fifties and we wrote it up to 1200. So. We're down almost by half uh, in Tesla, getting close to buy territory. Uh, a really attractive level would be the 200 week moving average here at uh, just below 400, targeting 10,000. Uh, second half of the barbell bets on a massive domestic global recovery to resume in the second half of 2022. Upside potential for recovery stocks far greater than tech. Some of these stocks have not moved for five or 10 years, focuses on economically sensitive cyclical industries, makes a great way to high growth tech companies. We could spend all the next two years rotating back and forth between the two groups. You have Boeing, uh, which has been crushed through a seemingly endless series of regulatory transgressions, crash planes, engineering problems, and so on. It will come back. Of course, China recovering their largest customer, that would be a big help too. Uh, JP Morgan, banks rise when interest rate rise. Um, and all you have to do is eliminate the recession risk, the default uh, problems go away, and the bank should double over the next three years. Uh, buying uh, JP Morgan here, right around the 120 level uh, is a great long-term hold, as are the rest of the sector, including Wells Fargo, Citibank, and, uh, uh, J and uh, Bank of America. Uh, these are, will be the new fintech companies. Uh, Visa, great in inflation play. Um, uh, when, whenever anyone raises the, their prices on their products, uh, the fees for Visa credit cards goes up. It's a one-on-one -on -one link. So again, we're looking for $300 a share by the end of the year. Uh, buy Visa on dips. Union Pacific, any economic recovery means you need to move lots of big stuff. Union Pacific does that uh, better than anyone else as the main East-West Railroad. Uh, we had buys back here uh, down uh, just above 100, made a ton of money on that. Uh, we had another buy here, and we haven't been selling the domestics on the short side because historically they're way too cheap, but we're looking for another buy here and then a move up to 300 by the end of the year. Federal Express, not only do you move big stuff in economic recoveries, you move even more small stuff. FedEx dominates here. Uh, we had our buy signal here under 100, uh, went short about a year ago uh, and are still selling rallies, but eventually we're looking to buy down here. Uh, just above 180, and then after that, we're targeting 300 by the end of the year. 
Berkshire Hathaway is a one-stop barbell portfolio because it has a lot of financials, a lot of energy, and a lot of Apple. Been a winning combination this year, hit an all-time high just a few weeks ago, looking to buy the dip. Then after that, we're targeting $400 a share by the end of 2022. By the way, this is one of the few stocks that we did not short uh, in January, and that paid off well because we went up another 15% after that. Uh, bonds, the other big trade this year has been the bond market. In two years, bonds have dropped from 180 to 113. We see them eventually going down to 110, and after that, it's game over for the bond short. Uh, yields reached as high as 312 on an overnight basis. U.S. budget deficit is in free fall now, putting our hefty bond shorts at risk, and we could have be running a budget surplus by the end of this year. While Trump was president, the national debt exploded by four trillion, a dream come true for bond shorts. And in fact, we've been playing bonds on the short side for four years. Since Biden became president, the annual budget deficit has plunged from 3.1 trillion to only 360 billion for the first seven months of this year. And we could approach zero by the end of the year. An exploding economy has sent tax revenue soaring. Taxpayers still have to pay a gigantic bill for last year's monster capital gains in the stock market. Biden has also been unable to get many spending bills through the Senate, where he lacks a clear majority. Uh, TLT could drop from 182 years ago to 100 by next year. So uh, this one's pretty simple. Sell, 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 and sell some more, targeting 100 We've come all the way from 180 down to 113 uh, on this sell-off. It's been an enormous money maker for all of our clients, uh, many of whom never traded the bond market before they found Matt Hedge Fund Trader. So uh, look for this to continue for a few more months, then we're running out of juice on the short side. Uh, here's the yield. We went from 1.33%. Uh, 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 last November to 3.12% a couple weeks ago. I'm eventually targeting 350 by next year. That gets us to our 100 level in the TLT. Foreign currencies, it's been all about the US dollar. Uh, the <clears throat> currency with the most rapidly rising interest rates is always the strongest. That's been the dollar for the last couple of years. Uh, they have uh, also gotten a turbo charge from a flight to safety uh, since the Ukraine war started. Shanghai, a shutdown crushes the Chinese yuan. Commodity currencies like the Australian dollar and the Canadian dollar uh, are holding up well. Long-term US dollar fundamentals still bad and getting worse. Dollar short could be the new 10-year trade, but not yet. You may have to wait another year before that happens. So staying aside from foreign exchange for now, there are better fish to, to fry. Uh, okay. Da, 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 um, uh, okay, let's continue. Uh, US dollar basket, you can see there's the new all time high there. Uh, we've rolled over with the drop in US dollar interest rates the last two weeks. But we're still looking for new highs, and after that, a generational collapse. Uh, Australian dollar, uh, again, um, this is, is looking like a long-term buy. Uh, we're looking eventually one-to-one. -one. That's because the commodity boom that drives the Australian economy will keep going for another decade. That eventually uh, makes the US dollar equal to an Australian dollar. Uh, energy, uh, of course, we got the super spike thanks to the Russian invasion. Uh, Russia's cut electricity exports to Finland because it's joining NATO. Average household now spending 5,000 a year on gasoline, except uh, for the 2 million of us who own electric vehicles. It's a race against time as Germany uh, rushes to wean itself off Russian oil by next winter, and it can be done. Watch out for the Putin resigns or the Putin declares victory headline, which could take oil down $50 overnight. That's what makes uh, uh, oil such a high risk play right now. Um, everyone knows that Putin is losing except for Putin. 
when he figures that out, that's the end of the oil trade. And it could happen literally overnight. Russian invasion highlights the risk, risk of relying on uh, oil as an energy source. And Europe's conclusion is to quit using it as fast as possible. New bull market in uranium will continue for years as energy hungry nations look for new non-carbon sources to replace Russia. Avoid all energy plays like the plague. It's the new buggy whip industry as the US decarbonizes. Uh, so here's oil, and uh, we do see it going up higher from here through the summer, but eventually we hit a peak and then it's back down to $10 again. And if you're wondering why that's a risk, one of the biggest double tops of all time is in the process of setting up. Uh, the last time we hit 150 was in 08. If we hit it again this year or next year, there's your double top. And after that, it collapses as the world accelerates its move away from oil and towards alternative energy. Precious metals uh, uh, had a head of steam for a while then gave it up, hit a four month low. Long-term rising interest rates remain a threat to precious metals. Silver is still the better long-term play. Every electric vehicle needs two ounces of silver and production will soar from 700,000 units in 2020 to 25 million by 2030. Gold will eventually recover when US borrowing becomes so massive it undermines the value of the US dollar, even in the face of higher interest rates. Uh, let's see. Uh, so here's gold and that's unfortunately that's also looking like a double top uh, on the uh, three year chart. So uh, I would stay away from gold, but you know, 200 week may give you major support down here that could trigger another buy signal. So I'm looking for um, uh, actually 3000 by 2023, uh, our silver target. Oh, sorry, this is Barrick Gold. So Barrick Gold, we're looking for $50 uh, by the end of the year up from the current 20. Uh, and here's silver. We also have a $50 target on silver up from uh, 20 today. And um, uh, again, the industrial demand is far greater for silver than it is for gold. So don't play with matches. You could probably do okay just buying all the stocks I mentioned above and forgetting about them. However, the reality is the conditions for these companies change every day. They are all viciously competing, trying to put each other out of business. Um, if you don't get daily updates on the fundamentals, you could easily get wiped out. Today's big winner could instantly become tomorrow's loser. That's why you need somebody like me to guide you through the thicket to avoid an out of the blue blow up. I gained financial independence for life and so can you. All of this can be yours. Discover how to make thousands of dollars a year in extra income. Go from complete beginner to seasoned pro in weeks. Learn how to quit your day job and trade for a living full time. Trade from anywhere, anytime. Supplement your retirement income with the satisfaction of booking winning trades by the hundreds. If you're wondering why I'm smiling in this picture, it's because I'm sending out a trade alert from North Africa where it is 120 degrees. The harsh truth is you really need my help. The majority of individual traders lose money. Uh, they lack the correct training and discipline to succeed. Most broker research suffers from grievous conflicts of interest. Uh, Wall Street is all about moving money from the uneducated to the educated. The easy solution to that problem is to get educated. Fidelity did a 20 year study and learned that their top performing investors were dead people. Why uh, are dead people so good at trading? Because they never sell. You know, when the you know, Dow is in the process of going uh, from 600 to uh, 38,000, never selling is a good thing. And this is the last broker I, I worked with. His name was Pinocchio. I think he was based somewhere in Northern Italy. Uh, you need a real pro to guide you through the market maze. The market is not monolithic and 95% of it uh, can be completely ignored. And chances are you're wasting 95% of your time looking at the wrong stuff. 
there are a few great sectors, a lot of awful ones. You can earn a 10 times return on the great ones, get wiped out by the losers, let a 50-year veteran steer you to safe waters, let me sit next to you and guide your hand on every winning trade. This is our secret weapon, the Mad Hedge Profit Predictor, my market timing index. It's an artificial intelligence-driven algorithm that analyzes 30 different economic, technical, and momentum-driven indicators all day long. Took a team of mathematicians, a thousand hours of calculations to create this indicator, and the performance has been utterly spectacular. Uh, why do you need an algorithm? Well, why use a toolbox missing its most important tool? Algorithms become so dominant in the market, you should never trade without one. Does the work of a seasoned 100-man research department in seconds. It runs real time and optimizes returns with the addition of every new data point far faster than any human can. Imagine a trading strategy that upgrades itself a thousand times a day. Don't go to a gunfight with a knife. If, if you are trading against algos alone, you will lose. Algorithms provide you with a defined systematic trading discipline that will enhance your trading profits. And right now, our algorithm is showing a level of nine, which means it's in extreme buy territory, which is why we are currently 80% long the market. Yes, we are. I'm not the only one using algorithms. Some 80 to 90% of all current trading is algorithm driven. I was walking on the Miami waterfront a couple of years ago and found this super yacht and look what it's called, algorithm. Uh, this is three years of profit predictor performance. We get lots of uh, buys at market bottoms, lots of sells at market tops, buy, sell, buy, sell. It's great to have this as a tool guiding your every trade. Uh, this has been our average annualized return for the last 14 years, and that is 43.78%. We are doing 2.4 times the S&P 500 during the same time period. And you can see we are here in the blue, S&P 500 is in the orange. And since the beginning of the year, the S&P 500 has been going straight down. And we've been going straight up. That's the absolutely perfect strategy to have in a bear market. Bill was a struggling tobacco farmer in Virginia who wanted to supplement his fading agricultural income. After making 3.4 million with my trade alerts, he still farms, but now he's growing grapes in California's Napa Valley for the high-end wineries. Uh, Richard made millions religiously following my trade alerts. Uh, he now spends his retirement restoring vintage aircraft and flying them over the California coast. Uh, and Greg turned $100,000 into $1.5 million solely on my trade alerts. He bought a new home in Orange County, California with a Tesla solar panels, Tesla power walls, and a Tesla Model 3 and still had enough money left to send three kids to college. So what do we do about this? Well, stocks, you wanna buy the next big dip, bonds, you wanna sell rallies, commodities buy dips, energy stand aside, currencies, sell dollar rallies, precious metals buy dips. If you're not up 62.99% in the past 12 months as I was, you are reading the wrong newsletter or following the wrong trade mentoring service. 62.99% one year return uh, versus down 17 for the S&P 500. And 43.78 average annualized return for 14 years. You get those kind of numbers, you get to do things that other people don't do, like ride the Queen Mary from New York to England. When you get to England, you can take the Orient Express from England to Venice, Italy, and once you get to Venice, you can go island hopping in your own personal helicopter. Uh, now here's the very important part of this presentation. Uh, here's where the big money will be made. The 2000s and the 2010s were the hard decades for making money. The 2020s and the 2030s will be the easy ones as a global demographic wave brings on a new golden age. 85 million millennials will become big spenders over the next 15 years, while 80 million baby boomers, a drag on the economy, fade from the scene. 
that will create an economic boom that will last another decade starting last year. Uh, if you think I'm smoking California's most famous product, think again. The last time we had a demographic tailwind like this, the Dow average went up 20 times in 18 years from 600 to 12,000. Uh, all I'm saying is we get a replay of exactly that kind of performance. Uh, so if we take 2009 as our bottom, go up 20 times from 2009 bottom in 18 years, that takes us to 120,000 by 2027. Uh, and if tech keeps developing as it has done, we could easily hit 240,000 by the early 2030s. And if you think I'm crazy, think again, we're already two thirds of the way there on the 120,000 target. So yeah, we've already covered uh, uh, 6,000 to uh, 38,000 backed off to 32,000. So that puts us down here. Uh, except this time it's different. Technology is hyper accelerating on all fronts simultaneously and the pandemic has greatly sped up the rate of change. The development of functional quantum computers means that computational ability is about to increase a trillion fold at no cost. The world's major computational challenges will shortly be solved, such as weather forecasting and cancer cures. All major human diseases will be cured within 10 years. Live another decade and you will have a shot at living to 150. Needless to say, barbell stocks dominate in this scenario and will account for the bulk of stock market gains in our lifetime. The 90s had cheaper computers, cheap operating software, and a new internet. The 2020s will have 10 times this number of new technology drivers. So who'll show you how to play the next Dow 85,000 points? Sit with me, John Thomas, the Mad Hitchford trader, and my global trading dispatch. Discover how you can tap into the top performing trade mentoring service in the, in the industry, up 62.99% in a year. Follow my research and market beating trailers and you will rake the profits in. And by the way, go ahead and put any questions you have in the chat box. If I have some extra time at the end of our presentation, I will answer them. Let a Marine Corps combat pilot steer you to big profits. We trade single stocks, options, and ETFs for global equities, bonds, foreign exchange, energy, commodities, precious metals, and real estate. And no, that is not the plane I flew in Desert Storm. That's a 1932 de Havilland Tiger Moth based in uh, Cambridge, England, which I usually fly about once a year. Stall speed 30 knots, by the way, uh, for you pilots out there. Uh, it's made out of Norwegian spruce and Irish linen and has no brakes. It just has a tail skid. That's why you can only land on grass fields. Uh, this is a trading record of our market timing index. Uh, we got 10 out of 11 trade alerts profitable. Uh, you can see we <coughs> uh, we made a 16% profit buying the S&P 500. 8% uh, selling short the TLT, bought the Russell, bought Amazon, bought Apple, bought Biogen, oops, stopped out of Biogen for a 21% loss. We stop out of all losers very quickly <clears throat> because we know that 95% of the time, the next trade will be a winner. Palo Alto Networks, we bought for a 12% profit. Then we shorted the Japanese yen, shorted treasuries, bought the spies, and bought gold. Uh, just a matter of time for barbell stocks break out to new all-time highs. Watch this space melt up going into the end of 2022. Get ready to start reeling in those whoppers with Global Trading Dispatch as your guide. And yes, that is a 24-inch rainbow trout, which I caught in northern Nevada. Fortunately, it was catch and release, so no trophy this time. Uh, here's how our market timing index works. Uh, it predicted an upside breakout in Tesla um, uh, when it approached 200. So we sent out a trade alert and it looks like this, buy Tesla at two or two or best. It's an opening trade 
Um, we did this trade two years ago, portfolio weighting of 10%, and that meant you had to buy 49 shares to get a $10,000 weighting. What did Tesla do? It went up 63% in 20 trading days. Uh, we bought here, it appreciated to there, so we decided to take profits. So we sent out another trade alert. It says sell uh, at 349 or best. Um, on this particular trade, we made $7,203 uh, in 20 days. Uh, what happened after that? Well, we just kept buying the dips on Tesla because the algorithm kept saying buy every time we touched the 50-day moving average, which we did. And we, in fact, rode this thing all the way up to 1,200, uh, sending out buy signals all the way up. So these are our 10 baggers from last year, 2021. We got Zoom, it went up 10 times. We bought Lamb Research, went up 10.6 times, uh, maker of semiconductor manufacturing equipment. We bought NVIDIA, high-end graphics card maker, it went up 16 times. Uh, we bought Square, it went up 25 times. We bought Moderna right before the pandemic, got a 40 times move there. And of course, the granddaddy of them all, Tesla, recommended it $3. It went up 400 times to 1,200. So with my global trading dispatch, you get instant trade alerts sent out at market sweet spots, about 200 a year, and all the reasons to execute them. Live bi-weekly strategy webinars with an interactive Q&A special reports on urgent investment topics, invitations to strategy luncheons around the world, more educational videos and webinars than you can consume in a lifetime, and access to a 14-year database on investment ideas, searchable by names and ticker symbols. Uh, I'll even give you the name of a surfing camp in North Africa with the seniors division, warning it's a lot harder than it looks. I think I broke my nose few minutes after I took this picture. Uh, this is the one-stop shop. Learn all you need for every level. It's for individuals who want to understand what is happening with their retirement funds. It's for people who want to learn how to trade for a living, get the financial education of a lifetime. It's for smaller institutions and financial advisors who can't afford an in-house research department. Get in while the melt-up is on. Uh, with our service, you get my uh, global market comments in your inbox every morning uh, so you can act on it the second the market opens. You also get my Mad Hedge hot tips, the five most important things that happened today and what to do about them. Uh, this is what I'm not going to charge you for this service. I'm not going to charge you $100,000. That's what I charge my big hedge fund clients, and they're happy to pay because I make them millions of dollars. And I'm not gonna charge $10,000. This is what I charge my concierge clients who get my personal cell phone number. So uh, I can act as their uh, investment 911. And I'm not gonna charge $3,000. That's the full price of what I'm offering you on my website. Not for you, creating this product cost me millions of dollars with the best customer service in the industry running it cost me millions more. Six months for just $997. That's a 66% discount to our full list price. We only take 25 new subscribers at a time, so we don't overwhelm the markets. So it's first come, first serve. Just click on the chat box on the right. Uh, and David, if you can put in the link to our uh, sales page now in the chat box, uh, people can take advantage of it. And there you see, it's madhitchmantrader.com slash ST0522. Um, okay, let me make the money for you to pay for your subscription. You make the trades, discover how an experienced hedge fund manager finds and exploits the best sweet spots in any market. Just click on the chat box on the right. Here's the offer you can't refuse, six months for just $997. Uh, buy now and you will instantly receive a trade alert with an extremely high probability of success. You can execute immediately because the market's open right now. 
and make some of the most serious money in your life. Don't leave good money on the table. 95% of these trades make money immediately. And I'll even give you a tease. This is the chart of the trade alert that I'm going to send you uh, within seconds of you subscribing to our service. You have to go through a thousand charts to find one this good. Let me do the heavy lifting for you. Uh, what I'm not gonna tell you now is whether this is a buy or a sell. So let's do some more flying. Uh, when you make millions of dollars for your clients, you get a lot of pretty interesting invitations. $5,000 cases of wine, lunches on super yachts, free tickets to the Olympics, and dates with movie stars, and I promise not to tell who. So it was in that spirit I made my way down to the famed beachside community of Malibu to meet long-term mad hedge fund follower Richard Zeiler. Richard is a man after my own heart, plowing his millions in trading profits into a ground up restoration of a 1929 Travelair D4D biplane. And this is me flying the plane at an altitude of 10 feet. Uh, slightly illegal, but uh, I won't tell if you won't tell. Uh, this plane is quite famous because it was featured in the 1930 war movie, Hell's Angels, which won a, an Academy Award where Richard had to buy 20 other travel airs just to get the parts he needed to return this one plane to flying condition. The modernized plane has a 300 horsepower engine. Since I'm one, I, since I'm one of the few living tailwheel qualified pilots left in America, Richard was happy to let me have the plane for an afternoon where me and my kids buzzed the surfers on the California coast. Let me make millions of dollars for you as well as I have done for thousands of other followers over the last 14 years. I look forward to working with you. Uh, okay, six months for just $997 and uh, go ahead and type in your questions. I'm gonna check our inbox and see how many subscribers we've gotten so far to see how close we're getting to that. 25 uh, limit. Uh, and I see we have uh, Tracy from Graham Junction, Colorado has come in. Uh, Tracy, thank you very much. Promise to work hard for your money. And the trade alert should be in your inbox right now. Uh, if it's not, look in your spam folder. That's where they go sometimes for brand new first time subscribers. Uh, Michael from Corpus Christi, Texas has come in. Thank you very much, Michael. Check your inbox. Peter from Shreveport, Louisiana, just subscribe. Thank you, Peter. And we have Lance from Bemidji, Minnesota has just subscribed. And I see a question here asking about Tesla. Uh, and the answer is our 10 year target is $10,000 a share for Tesla. It's trading in the mid 600s right now. Actually, let me get a an accurate price for you. And Tesla is trading at, uh, da, 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 um, $664 up 36. Uh, we think uh, Tesla almost hit 600 yesterday. That is exactly half from the recent high set in January. We think here is a great level uh, to put on long-term positions in Tesla. And uh, if you want leverage, 10 to one leverage on Tesla, you can do that with long leaps or long-term equity participation securities. We can teach you how to do that if you subscribe to our service. And um, uh, we think that the company is so far ahead of the competition that no one will ever catch up. A lot of people, a lot of other car companies are putting out great PR company uh, programs on their new electric cars. The fact is they can't get uh, beyond four digits of production for several years. So only Tesla is able to make them in large numbers. And in fact, Tesla cars now have a one year wait and are selling for big premiums over lists. So can't do any better than that. Oh, by the way, if Elon Musk decides not to buy Twitter, uh, for any reason, you can expect Tesla stock, which you put up for margin, to go up at least $100 on that announcement. Uh, okay, let's see if there are any other questions here. 
Um, do you trade options uh, or are your recommendations limited to um, stocks? And the answer is every trade alert we send out contains a recommendation for a stock, an option, and an ETF. That way you can tailor your position to your own experience level and risk tolerance. Uh, so we have three different recommendations in every trade alert that goes out. And also every trade alert includes a link to a 20 minute video teaching you exactly how to execute this one particular trade. Okay, I'm gonna take another look here. See who else has come in. Uh, we have Ian from Cambridge, England. Thank you very, very much, England. Look forward to working with you. Uh, let's see, who else do we have? Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, Seth from New York City has just come in. Uh, thank you very much, Seth. Look forward to working with you. And we have here um, uh, Jeff from Plattsburgh, New York. Uh, okay, so uh, any more questions? What's the renewal rate? The answer is you're grandfathered in for life at today's price. Uh, you buy at the 997 price, that's your price for life. Uh, let's see, any other questions here? Da, 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 da. Okay, just click on the chat box on the right where it says madhitchmentrader.com. And David, I think I am just about done.